Hi, so uh, today what we're going to do is have a look at a runner who we've slowed down so hopefully you can see the points clearly that we're looking at and we're looking at what's happening here with uh, our hip power. So we can see by looking at the pink stripe you get a clear idea that the knee's not really coming past the hip into extension which is what we want. We want to really get our power through our hamstrings and hips when we're running. If we look further down the chain we can see the toes. The toes are staying relatively down facing the ground. There's a little bit of extra calf work, but not much. So there's no extra work coming from there. So where are we getting that power to, move, to push us forwards? And what is the injury risk potentially associated with it? And I think if you look up above, you can see as each stride comes to an end, we lack that hip extension. You can see the back, particularly when pushing off that left leg, you can see that back arches and it arches again there. So the back muscles are helping us create that movement. And then above that again, you can see the shoulders rotating to try and keep that forward momentum. There's a lot of twisting. So the back is extending and rotating quite a lot because we're lacking that hip extension. So we're gonna have a look in a moment at a couple of exercises that we can do to try and help address this and build that awareness up in, in your body. So here I've got uh, Patrick on the floor and he's doing a, a, a sort of four point kneeling and he's going into that extended position. You can see as he straightens the leg, his back arches and that's what's happening for that runner. So to help with that, we can use a ball as a bit of feedback, help you engage your abdominals. And you can see now he can keep the back nice and still as he extends the leg out and he's going to where he can control. Another way of doing this could be standing, you can use a broom. And again, these are a low repetitive movement. So you're wanting to do sort of 60 seconds of work on each side. 